this will be hard to film, but over here, there's a sort of corral that we built for Raz to go to the bathroom. And she goes nuts this time of year because, well, I just have to show you them, so I'll find them. There's one. It's Raz's waist that causes these things to emerge. And you have to see how beautiful they are. Yes, that's waste. These are some kind of dung beetle. And they roll it up into little balls and they take it away. <laughs> and they take all of it away, as a matter of fact. They have kind of a... If you see them in twilight, they have kind of a copper color. Almost, not quite gold, it's more like copper. The, it doesn't look like the camera's letting you see that. I think the light's scaring it away. But it's like a party for them. <laughs> but they're doing me quite a service. They'll actually take all of this away. That really is something else. Everything has to make a living. But you'd think there'd have to be a better way than that, right? Oh, I'm sorry I can't capture them on film. They're scurrying away. How I ever became aware of them in the first place was just the sound. You can hear, not tonight because the crickets are too loud, but the sound of leaves, leaves being moved the rustling sound, it drove us crazy at first, and then when we saw these copper-colored beetles, we realized what was going on. I had no idea this organism even existed here. Okay, I just thought you'd think that's cool, because I sure do. And I did manage to capture a couple. Borrow, rather. We'll take a close look at them, and then we'll return them to the party. This piece of bark here is to keep them away from one another. They seem to be competitive. They certainly do not like the light, which is not that surprising, considering what they do. Okay, I'm sure they want to go back to what they were doing. See you later.